So in the last video, we created this cron server to run our cron tests for our application. What I wanted to show you is a new feature of Laravel 5.6 called single server scheduling. And what this is going to do is take any scheduled command and add the on one server method call, which is going to say to run this cron task, whatever commands are set to run in the Laravel scheduler only on one server. So if you have multiple servers up and running, this is going to take care of some background work that decides which server should run this cron task, if any. In other words, if the cron task is already running, it won't allow it to run again. And this makes use of a cache system. So if you have Redis or Memcache as a central cache repository, as we do in our application, then this is a good use case. And the reason why it has to be central is because every application server that might be running a cron task has to communicate to the same data store that says which server should run the cron task or which server is already running a cron task. And we already have a cache server in place, a central storage, a place to put things like session storage and other data so that our application servers don't lose data when bouncing users between the application servers that are in the load balancer rotation. So we already have that in place in our case. For any load balanced application, you will likely have that as well. So we have Redis running in our cache server here. So what I've done here to show how this is going to work is I've set up a new example application inside of my cron server, and this is just called cron example. And the reason why I did that is because I needed to get a version of Laravel 5.6 up and running. So cron example is just a Laravel 5.6 install, and that's here. So if I do PHP artisan in my cron example site, and I'll scroll up to the top, we can see it says it's Laravel framework 5.6 dev. So it's a development version of Laravel 5.6 because 5.6 isn't out yet as of this video. Okay, so how does this work? The first thing I'm going to do is make a new command. So I'm going to do php artisan make command, and the command is going to be scaling Laravel example, just like we did in the last video, and it's just going to be called example command. And exactly like the last command, this is going to just sleep for three seconds. We don't actually need it to do anything other than to take a few seconds to run. So I'm going to do sleep, and I'm actually going to do it for five seconds instead of three. So we'll save and quit that, and then I can do PHP artisan SL example, and we can wait for five seconds while this runs. So I'm just making sure that the example command works, and it does. Great. So if I go to app console kernel, I'm going to try to run our command. I'm going to try to run it every minute. So I can do SL example command, and I'm going to try to run it every minute. And the scheduler will set that to run every minute, which is basically just means every time the scheduler is called, it's going to run this command. So I can do PHP artisan schedule run, and it's going to run command SL example, because that's set to run every minute. So over here, I'm going to do PHP artisan schedule run, and I'll do that over here as well. PHP artisan schedule run, and we'll run these at the same time. And notice it's actually running the schedule command SL example at the same time. So these are overlapping cron tasks. And what I just did here is I simulated two servers running a cron task every minute. And like I described in the last video, we likely don't want that to happen. So what we want is to use this new feature in Laravel 5.6, which helps us set it up so only one server runs it at a time. In other words, the first server to try to run it will win. And every other server will check and see that's already being run, and the scheduler will not run it in that case. So let's set that up. We're going to edit the kernel again. And in addition to running every minute, I want it to not overlap, which is great. That's already a feature we have. But we also want it to run only on one server. Let's just make sure I have that syntax right. Over here, we have without overlapping. It's not required, but I like to use that. And on one server is the new addition, that new feature. So we're going to run it like that. And I'm just going to run PHP artisan schedule run just to make sure I didn't break anything. Okay, so we don't have Predis here. I have Redis running, but I don't have Predis, so I just need to get that real quick. So Composer, Choir, Predis, Predis, and once that's set, we will be able to use our Redis instance because Laravel will have the right package to run and connect and talk to Redis. Okay, that's in place. So let's try this out again. And it's running, and that's great. So that ran. It's going to finish in just a few seconds, and then we can test it out again. I'll run it one more time. And it says it's already running on one server, and that should clear up after a minute because we have this set to run every minute. But what it's doing is saying for the next minute, for as long as we think this job is going to take, no longer running. So it's going to give it at least a minute to run. 
So what we can do is a next test here is to make sure they will truly not overlap. And I actually just called it overlapping. But what I want to do here is actually make sure that I have the correct test. I'm actually running this on the same server, but I'm using the on one server command. So I'm kind of simulating it. What I need to do to make this a fair test is to comment out the without overlapping directive here so that it doesn't get confused because this will see that it's actually overlapping rather than being run on a separate server. So I'm just going to change this file here and we'll save and quit that and then we can continue on to test this out. So PHP Artisan schedule run on the bottom and PHP Artisan schedule run on the top. So I'll run it on the top, switch to the bottom and I'll run it down here and we see skipping command has already run on another server but up here they did get run. So this did exactly what we wanted it to do. It noticed that the scheduled jobs were already being run on one server and therefore it did not run them on the other server. Now I'm simulating having two servers here. I just have one, but if there are two servers, that's exactly how this would behave as well. So this is a great, great new feature of Laravel 5.6 because what you can do is set this in your scheduler to run however long you want without overlapping if you want, but on one server. And the on one server portion will make sure that any command run through the scheduler here, through Laravel scheduler, will only run on one server at a time. That lets you have multiple servers built the exact same way. In other words, you can have the exact same cron task definitions, the exact same commands defined to run with the cron task. Every server can have cron running and it orchestrates making sure that they don't overlap and making sure that cron or cron commands don't run on top of each other. In other words, they don't run simultaneously. So what I would do in this case for this application is to set cron on my application servers probably, or maybe my worker servers, whatever I want, but it would be set on every server, just so they're consistent, and I can get rid of my cron server so I can delete it and not have to pay for that extra server. And then because every app server had the cron defined, we know that cron would run and something would try to run Laravel scheduler every minute, every five minutes or whatever. But this new feature will make sure that that only runs on one server at a time. So that cron is not running on multiple servers leading to weird behavior that we don't want. In other words, we don't want cron to run cron tasks on multiple servers at the same time in most use cases. So that's it. That's a new feature of Laravel 5.6, which is coming out in February of 2018. This video is being recorded in December of 2017, so it's coming out pretty soon. And it's a feature that you'll definitely want to use if you are scaling out your applications on Forge or really on any platform, if you have more than one server running an application in a load balanced environment.